Hello and welcome to this mini dose about bronchiolitis. So bronchiolitis is a viral infection that essentially causes inflammation within the bronchioles. It's a common respiratory illness seen in the under 12 month olds and most commonly is caused by RSV. Now presenting features range from sort of a mild to, to severe illness but most commonly children are quite well presenting with coaxial symptoms so sort of runny nose, cough, temperature, those sorts of things. Poor or reduced feeding is quite common, often due to the higher respiratory rates and the difficulty, therefore, children have feeding. And in the more severe end, children may present with respiratory distress. So looking at your work of breathing, intercostal, subcostal recessions, nasal flaring, head bobbing, etc. Typically, bronchiolitis peaks at around day two or day three. So we often end up discharging these patients with a safety net that they've hit day three. They shouldn't get much worse. Although in some cases, symptoms can go on for several days, if not weeks. We can take throat swabs to assess the type of virus that's causing the bronchiolitis. However, the diagnosis remains clinical. And management is fairly straightforward. It's largely supportive, particularly focusing on oxygenation status and feeding. In terms of oxygenation, we get worried about SATs of less than 92% in children. And in those cases, we'd give them some oxygen and we'd arrange for them to be admitted. Equally, if they're feeding less than 50% of their required amounts, then again, we're going to bring those children into hospital because they may need NG feeding to support their intake. For some of these children can be particularly sick. We may need to consider using CPAP, which we know helps prevent impending respiratory failure. Some children will go on to require intubation and ventilation, although this is quite uncommon. The other respiratory support that you might see in hospital is high flow nasal cannula. These are used relatively commonly and are believed to reduce the need for using CPAP, although evidence is currently lacking. Now, as a respiratory illness, students often think that things like bronchodilators and steroids are going to be effective, but unfortunately, there's evidence that both of those are, are ineffective. And that ineffective list also includes several other medications that have been trialed before. It's important to remember that the vast majority of these children recover really well. They have no long-term sequelae of illness and they recover without much intervention as well, which I think is an important message. So just to summarize then, bronchiolitis is a viral infection predominantly caused by RSV. It affects children under one year of age, presenting predominantly with cough, runny nose, fever and poor feeding. Management is supportive, focusing on feeding and oxygenation. In severe cases, we might need to consider high-flow nasal cannulae, CPAP and potentially intubation.